integrity, and most importantly, his leadership for all of those folks. So, with that being said, it's time, I think, to begin the program. And the first thing I want to do is introduce somebody. And his name is Josh Meeks. Now, of everybody you're going to be able to hear from tonight, it's truly the highest honor to be able to introduce a young man who knows firsthand what the sheriff's youth ranches can mean in the lives of our young people. One of the highlights of this dinner every year is listening to an actual rancher and the history of that rancher and what that rancher has been through and survived and where that young rancher is going. Inevitably, uh, there are tears brought to the eyes of many people as they hear the story, but Josh is a native of New Orleans, moved with his family to Conway when he was four, eventually settling in Sheridan. He was 15 when his mother and stepfather brought him to the ranch back in 2006. He's now in the 11th grade in school where he is uh, really interested in drama and loves drama. And he, I'm proud to say that he is an all A and B student now. He's not only uh, doing great in his classes, but he's balancing his responsibilities with a new job at Subway where he started this fall. He's creative, he's active in his church, and Jim, he's a huge sports fan. His house parent, Margie, describes Josh as a very responsible and hard worker. He's living up to the ideals of the ranches. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mr. Josh Meeks. Um, as you already know, my name is Josh Meek. I would like to take a few minutes of your time to tell you how I came to be at the ranch and how this experience has changed my life. When I was 12 years old, I started having anger problems and was afraid of letting my emotions show. My parents argued constantly and I never wanted to obey them. My, my family wasn't very subtle. I started getting into more trouble and causing more chaos within my family. I I did not know the I did not know how to handle the frustration, so I threw fits and was tired of it all. I ended up going to a treatment hospital though and was taught many ways how to control my anger a lot better. While I was there, a lady by the name of Miss Lee mentioned to me the Arkansas Sheriff's Youth Ranch. She told me many stories about the ranch and how it would make a bright future for me. I started to agree and then she made me an offer. I was shocked. I was like, wow, she chose me to go to the ranch. And I started thinking, heck yeah. So, <laughs> before I was discharged from the hospital though, hospital though, I had to, my parents had to sign papers so I could be released under the ranch's care. During that week, I begged not to go to the ranch, but my mom was like, you haven't even seen it or been there. And I started to agree and I was like, okay, you're right, mom. And then I got to share the love with my family for the rest of that week. The morning I had to go to the ranch though, I cried and cried. I realized I didn't want to go to the ranch, only because I was nervous. My dad drove us there, and we talked about how it would be a good choice to take that extra step and prove that I had changed. I showed up with a semi-smile on my face, hoping for a welcome. When I walked through the doors, I started walking through the hall, and the staff there welcomed me, and I was very pleased. I was shocked. I was still nervous, but I was ready for the challenge. They told me the procedures, what I needed to work on, and how to be a role model for the others there. I was ready to begin. They took me to the house I'd be staying in and took me on a tour of the ranch. I put my bags down in my room and had to say goodbye to my parents. When I was saying goodbye, I, I just bawled like a baby. I wasn't ready for them to leave, but I ended up saying goodbye and then I walked into the house. When I walked in, everyone welcomed me even more and I felt like I was part of the family and it felt a little like home. I worked on my attitude and how to release my anger more properly. After staying at the ranch for a few months, I developed better habits. I was given the opportunity to return home to the ranch right, right after Christmas. When I was home, I saw my eyes that morning. When I was, I'm, I'm sorry, when I was in, in my room, I saw in my eyes that nothing has changed. My parents were still arguing and even though I changed, my family hadn't. So. I went and hung out with people I thought were my friends, and I returned just like the old ways, acting bad and causing more chaos. One morning before school, I didn't want to go and pitched a huge fit. This was because I said I didn't have any clean clothes, but I did. My mom called the rancher, told them that they needed to come and get me. 
I was furious and upset. When I went back to the ranch, I was disappointed in, my, disappointed in myself, waiting for a huge lecture, but they told me that I just needed to regain my focus and work through the skills that I had in order to act more maturely. While I felt bad because I felt like I had let a lot of people down, I was relieved that I was away from the arguing. Arguing and the ranch staff were not there to condemn me, but to help me through this. I went through some hard times trying to understand what can I do to work things out and how to go back home, and then I realized all I did is have to behave and follow my mother's rules. The ranch gave me a second chance and said that I could go home before the summer ended, but I had to be on my best behavior. But of course, I blew that out the water because I was the best little kid on earth. <laughs> I went home and then all of a sudden, more chaos just struck me. I hung out with people I didn't need to meet. I, caught, I started to commit more crimes and then I got caught, just one too many. But when I, before I left the ranch, I was told that if I was to come back, I'd have to stay at the ranch until I was 18 years old. And then that morning when I had to go and stand before the judge, he told me the basic bottom point, either Alexander or back to the ranch. And of course, I chose the ranch. That's a far better place. And since I have made better choices for myself there, I have, on, I have opened up my eyes for a brighter future, and I'm planning to go to college and, be a, and become a registered nurse. But more importantly, I now see myself as a more confident person who is capable of making good choices. I feel I owe much of the skills I have learned to the Arkansas Sheriff's Youth Ranch, and thank you. That story can be replicated countless times, and those of you that are here tonight have helped so many young people just like that to have a chance at life, and thank you for your maturity and your poise. I, it wasn't easy to get up here in front of seven or 800 people and do that, so uh, is that the first time you've given a speech in front of seven or 800 people? You sounded like a pro. Don't run for governor.